This is the Dangbei N2. It's a very portable and versatile full HD 1080p projector. And you may have noticed online that this actually does come with a gimbal stand. If you're in the UK, you can only buy this as a standalone unit. So it doesn't have the stand, which allows you to angle this at 210 degrees and project onto a ceiling. But nonetheless, make sure to check the links in the description to find the latest pricing information and any discounts that they may be running. And let's go ahead and check what's inside the box. So pretty standard accessories. You get yourself the user manual, the power plug DC adapter, and you have the remote control here, which has dedicated Netflix and Prime Video along with YouTube buttons. And it is pretty straightforward and basic remote control. And then we have the projector itself. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the design. Okay, so as we're looking at the design of this, I'm just bringing out all of the key features on the sidebar here. Now you can see front and center, you have the lens, you have the speaker right there. And it's a very easy and portable design to take with you. You can even just carry this with one hand. It's very simple to do so. Towards the back, you do have the Dolby audio symbol just there on the left hand side. Looking at the ports, you have the DC input, one HDMI port, two USB ports, and the audio input if you want to connect maybe headphones or an auxiliary port. Along the top, you have yourself the power button to turn this on. And this does have two six watt speakers giving you 12 watts of Dolby audio power. So we will be testing out all of the capabilities of not just the video and the visuals, but also the audio quality on the speakers. Okay, so everything is now set up. This does have 400 ISO lumens. And as you can see, there's a lot of daylight coming into this room. And this is also still very clear. So if you are looking to maybe watch some content during the day, then you can be confident that this does a pretty good job. That is also dependent on the type of screen that you have. I have a high quality ALR screen, which does allow the colors to be more vibrant, a bit more brighter. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and test everything out. But I also want to mention, this is actually very quiet in terms of the fan noise. This is around 26 decibels and you won't be able to hardly hear anything coming from this. Let's just take a closer look and see if you can hear anything. You probably can't hear just because it is very, very quiet and it won't interfere in you watching any of your TV shows or movies. Now I'm going to run through some of the settings on this system because this is based on the Linux OS system. It's a little bit faster, more lightweight, and it doesn't have Google TV or Android TV, which means you may not get apps like Disney Plus or Apple TV unless you work through some third party workarounds. But nonetheless, you could also go ahead and connect a HDMI like a TV, Amazon Fire Stick or an Apple TV box if you really want to get all of those additional apps. But it does have Netflix, YouTube and Prime Video. But you can also mirror cast from your phone and just do a little bit of screen mirroring as well. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and close all of the light sources in this room, make it darker, just so you can see more of the vibrant screen. And there you go. We're in a dark room now. And now you can see how much more vibrant, how much clearer everything is. To get this up and running, just to set it up was very quick and easy. I just needed to log in through my phone by scanning a QR code to get into my favorite apps like Netflix, for example. And also the autofocus and auto keystone was very fast. It just matched my screen and there wasn't any involvement of setting it up manually, which I really like. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings in this because I do get questions asked about what type of settings are available. So we'll go into settings under setup. This is where you can change all of the setup options for the projector as well. Always recommend to do an update check to see you have the latest firmware, which I did at the very beginning. Picture mode, you can go through various different picture modes, which is very common in a lot of projectors. I've set it to vivid because I really want to showcase the colors and the visuals, especially alongside the contrast ratio on this. But you can go from standard, custom and set your own, cinema, sports and back to vivid. Likewise with audio, you can also set with bass and treble manually. You can turn surround sound off or on. And in fact, I will go ahead and turn that on because I really want to showcase a sample audio and video demo from Dolby and see how that performs with a bit of surround sound coming from these Dolby audio speakers. Projection, you can set the position of where you want to set the projector. I've just let it at front and center. You have Wi-Fi, Keystone, you can do auto Keystone or manual, make it screen fit, go into a bit of advanced settings. Zoom, which is a very valuable feature if you want to set your projector at a set distance from your screen, you can make sure it matches your screen size by going all the way down to 50% of the zoom size if that's something you prefer. Likewise with Keystone, you can also do auto focus and manual. 
You can also pair this with Bluetooth accessories. So if you want to connect it to your headphones, maybe even to a sound bar, you can also do that from here. And there's also some information about the projector there. So it's very simple. You can also go into the app store here, which is a third party Linux app store. You may not find things like Disney Plus, like I mentioned, but there's a whole bunch of categories that you can browse through along the top. Just a quick run through of these. I'm just going to cycle through these categories just so you have an idea of what types of apps are available. If that is something you want to go ahead and explore further. So like I mentioned, one of the benefits of this is that it is super fast. If you do have Google TV or Android TV, there is a bit of a lag and a bit of a delay when it loads so much content. But with Netflix and YouTube and Prime Video, that pretty much covers a lot of the content that people watch nowadays and everything is licensed as well. I'll just show you Netflix quickly. There you go. Everything looks great. And this is something that I would absolutely use to watch all of my favorite shows, movies, and the visuals just from this is looking super clear, very HD, and it does upscale the 4K content as well. So you don't have to worry about if things are available in 4K, if it will actually display that properly. This handles all of that content very easily and the audio alongside that also sounds great. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into a video demo and see how this looks and also how it sounds. Right, so I've got the volume down low a little bit. Just wanted to showcase how clear the video looks and how great the visuals actually are. I'm going to set the phone back onto my tripod, but I just wanted to get a little bit closer to show you a bit of the viewing angles as well on how clear this actually looks. So for people seated from the side maybe, they'll be able to watch everything as clear as you are looking at it from the front. Okay, and now let's go ahead and play an audio demo from Dolby Audio just so we can really test those speakers and hopefully you guys can hear the clarity in how these actually sound. Hey Joe, what's with those cupcakes? Those were sick. Excuse me, what do you want here? It's a movie about bees, we need bee sounds. You want it loud? Listen fella, can you just flap your wings into the microphone so that we can get out of here? Stupid bee. I heard that! Yeah? Uh-huh. Alright, I'm starting. Oh. Oh. Dull bee. Any more of those cupcakes? 
So there you have it. Hopefully you saw and heard how great this actually looks and sounds. The HDR visuals are stunning and the speakers actually pack a punch in them as well. So when you do watch anything with Dolby Audio, then it's going to give you a very good cinematic home experience. And one thing I would say is that I've always been a fan of Dangbei projectors. I've reviewed many of theirs in the past. And this is a great option for anyone that's looking for a very high quality feature packed projector that are on a more of a tighter budget. Now make sure to check the link in the description because on launch of this projector, they do have some really good launch pricing and discounts running and take a look at the amazing deals that you can grab. And as always, if you have any other questions about this projector, then make sure to ask them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you did enjoy this review, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you all at the next one. Take care.